guys, it's Anthony here, and for today's video, I'm going to be filming a questions and answers video for you guys. If you guys are wondering why this doesn't have the S at the end, I kind of ran out of letters. So basically, yesterday, I posted a video asking you guys to comment down a bunch of questions you guys have for me, and I screenshotted a bunch of them, and there was over, like, 150 questions on that video, so that's crazy, and thanks for commenting questions now, because if without the questions, this video wouldn't be possible. Before I start this video, little high key self promo you guys should follow me on instagram and twitter my instagram and twitter is always down below and i'll put it on the screen it's just my name my full name with a b instead of an a so it's basically at jbs and my knee ngo and that's like my app for most things except snapchat snapchat something else if you guys want to add me on that oh i'll put it on the screen or whatever so yeah the first question is what is your favorite store to shop at um, one of my main favorite stores to shop at is Forever 21 because I love Forever 21. Their stuff is like really affordable and it's really cute. And PacSun. I love PacSun. Another place I really like but I can't really buy a lot of things from is Urban Outfitters. It's really nice but it's really expensive and I don't know, I'm a cheap person. And also, I've been loving a bunch of online stores. Like, I've been working with a bunch of online companies. I love Make Me Chic, Romwe, Romwe, and Shein. Dot com. I love those websites. If you guys are looking for any like um good online websites, you guys just check that out. Question number two: What is one makeup product that you cannot live without? Um, probably my eyebrow products. I could, that's not really one product, but I use two products for my eyebrows. I started using the Anastasia like dip brow because I got that for Christmas, and I really like that. I started using that to fill up my eyebrows. To align my eyebrows, I use this like Ramel eyebrow pencil to like make the shape so basically when I do my eyebrows I make a shape first and then I fill it in and I clean it with like a makeup wipe someone asked how do you keep your hair so long and healthy hair goals um honestly my hair is long but it's not super healthy like it's not horrible but it's not super healthy um one thing that's good for it is um I never dyed my hair before so um that's good so I have like virgin hair and I just don't cut it, that's how I keep it long. And I do have a lot of split ends, but I try to like, cut those off sometimes. And whenever I curl my hair, I use heat protect it. It's pretty soft, but at the ends it gets kind of like weird. One of the questions that I got a lot were my 2017 like New Year's resolutions. And I don't know, I just have like a lot of like the basic New, Year resol New Year's resolutions. I really want to improve my YouTube channel, start making more videos for you guys. I kind of want to hit 50,000 subscribers this year, even though I'm like not that close. I have like 27,000 right now, which is amazing. It's like I have a voice for like 27,000 people and it's like crazy. I really want to use my channel for good and I don't know. It's just insane to think that people actually like to follow me, I guess. I'm, I'm kind of a loser. Like I have no friends. Like honestly, I have like five friends. My next question is, what's your ethnicity? Um, I'm Bia. I'm mostly Bia and I'm part French. Current favorite TV show? Okay, this question is really funny because I started watching Gilmore Girls like three weeks ago and I'm already on season six because I love it. Oh my god, if you guys haven't watched Gilmore Girls, you guys have to watch it. It's so good. I don't know, I love watching it and I'm obsessed with all the episodes. Like Luke and Lorelai are so cute. Right now, Rory is kind of like problematic, but I don't know. And then, I don't know, I feel like everyone's so funny in the show. I love Kirk. Kirk is so funny. Okay, if you guys don't watch this show, you guys will probably be so confused. But Kirk is so funny. Like, he's one of my favorite characters. I love him. And Bebe, oh my god, I love that lady. What's your secret for being fit? Okay, girl, I am not even fit. Like, I'm so, like, unhealthy right now. I gained so much weight recently. I'm, like, not really proud of, like, how I am right now. I need to really, like, start working out and, like, being more fit because summer's coming soon and I can't really wear a hoodie all the time anymore. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I'm really unhealthy. I literally eat chips all the time. I have a mini fridge full, like, chocolate milk, coffee, and, like, sodas and stuff. Yeah, maybe this is why I'm unhealthy. I want to start eating more healthy, but I don't really have a lot of healthy food in my house. What well, kind of? But I, I don't know. And what is the biggest loss we had in 2016? Probably Donald Trump becoming president. I honestly do not know how that happened. Like, no offense if you're a Trump supporter, like, you do your thing. I don't really care. But me and myself, I, like, do not, like, agree with his beliefs and stuff. Like, I feel like he's just crazy. Like, how the hell does that guy become our president? Like, what the heck? We had Obama and he was so great and now we have this guy. Like, he's wild. Like... Like, who the frick? Oh my god, who? I don't know. I can't I have no words for him. Like, let's not talk about him anymore. Where are you from? I'm from California, the Bay Area, like, Northern California. And yeah, I'm not from LA or anything. A lot of people ask me to think I'm from LA. Next question, do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I had a, I've been having a boyfriend for the past, like, eight months. 
Um, I have my boyfriend's name is KM. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat, you guys probably see him. This is the longest relationship I've ever been in. Like before, like a year ago, I was totally like anti-guy. And now, I don't know. I'm just happy with him. He's great. How do you get money to shop? And do you have any tips on saving money? And oh my god, I'm horrible at saving money, so I can't really give you guys any tips. Maybe don't shop as much and put your money in your like savings account so you can't really touch it. And for me, YouTube gives me the opportunity to get a lot of like free clothes and like work with a bunch of companies, so that's one way I get a lot of clothes. And I also have a job, I work at a milk tea shop, and YouTube also pays me money too. So yeah, I just get money and I save it up and buy whatever I want. What's your go-to outfit? Probably this, a pair of tights, well tights, and a hoodie. Cause I don't know, recently in California it's been ridiculously cold. What's your favorite fashion staple? Probably denim. I love denim so much. Denim is, I don't know, I've been wearing denim all the time. I love denim, like I love my denim jackets, I love my jeans, I don't know. My staple, I can never like live without denim. Like denim is my thing, I love denim. Sorry guys, my camera cut off, so I'm sorry if the lighting changed or the position is different. So yeah, I think I was on a question on my hair. So basically, um, I don't think I would ever cut my hair short. I had long hair for so long. Like, I had long hair for most of my life. I think my whole life. Like, honestly, my whole life I had long hair. Besides the time I was born, obviously. But I don't know, I don't think I ever had it short, and I love having it long. What are your plans for the future? Like, what do you want to be or get a college degree in? I honestly do not know what I want to be. I like had this question in my head for so long and I'm not sure. But one thing I really want to go like into for college is business. I've been really like I've been really into business my whole life and yeah, business. Something in business, maybe fashion business. So yeah, I kind of want to be something in that. Like one of my goals people, like people that inspire me and my goal people is Sofia Amoruso. Like honestly, her like the way she built her like empire is so amazing and I feel like I could do something like that maybe. I don't know. She's like a great I want to be her. Can you do a boyfriend tag? Um, I maybe. I, I'll ask my boyfriend. Maybe he'll want to do it. I love you so much. Do you plan on doing a meetup? Um, not anytime soon. I feel like no one would really go to my meetup. Like, no one really cares about me, to be honest. Like, if I did a meetup, I'm like, everyone, meet at, like, Union Square. There'd be, like, zero people there. Maybe one person that will show up, and that'll be really awkward. What are the pros and cons of being a YouTuber? This is a good question. A lot of, there's a lot of pros, and there's also some cons, but the pros overweigh the cons, so that's, that's good. But some of the pros are, like, um creating like content that you really like and like looking back one of my favorite things to do is looking at back at my old videos and seeing how much I grew like I love that another thing is I had a lot of like business fashion opportunities that came from YouTube like I created videos for companies that I love and also YouTube pays you sometimes if you have AdSense some of the cons are there's a lot of like trolls on YouTube and I get hate sometimes and it hurts but I don't really care. You're not always going to satisfy anyone with every one of your videos. Like there's always going to be some people that don't like your videos. And another thing that's kind of a con for YouTube, it takes up a lot of time. Like if you want to start a YouTube channel, you have to be committed and like I don't know, it takes up a lot of time and sometimes it takes up a lot of money. Like my equipment to film YouTube videos probably cost well, it's probably not as much as other YouTubers, obviously, but um, my equipment, all my equipment probably costs like $700. Yeah, $700. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm a teenage girl. I, I'm a young teenage girl. That's a lot of money to me. So, yeah. YouTube costs money and it takes up a lot of time, but it's worth it at the end. How do you manage your time with school and YouTube? Um, this is really hard for me at the beginning. Like, my grades would go down, but, uh, I just started, like, evening out my time more. Like, I started getting more into school, and I film a lot on the weekends, so that's my one of my main filming days. I try not to film during the weekday. Like, I never film during the weekday, because that's, like, my, my learning time. So, yeah, I just, like, even it out. When did you start wearing makeup? I started wearing makeup, like, when I was really young. Like, when I was in, like, 7th grade or in 6th grade, I would put a little eyeliner on, but I wouldn't do it daily. I started wearing makeup daily, like, 2-3 years ago. I'm not sure. And I would wear, like, eyeliner or whatever and eyebrows. I honestly do the same thing. I don't really wear a lot of makeup. All I do is my eyes. I don't really wear foundation or anything or, like, contour or concealer. I, it's because I do not know how to. Like, I really want to learn, but, like, I don't know how to do it. And I have the products to do it, but I just don't know how to do it. I might start doing it. So yeah, um, and right now, I don't know, I feel like I like can't have a lot of things on my face because I wipe my face a lot, it's kind of like uneven stuff, 
for now, I'm like good with not wearing face makeup. I really want to learn because a lot of people, like my friends, put face makeup on me, and I feel like I look a lot better. Like I don't, I don't look like a potato sack. Are you still friends with Tatiana? Um, yes, we are still friends. Um, we're not super as close as you used to be. I really like her. I still find her amazing, and I think her videos are great. I think her content is great, and she's so cute. And I really miss her. I don't know, but recently I haven't been talking to any of my YouTube friends, so yeah. Um, if Tatiana, if you're really like, watching this, hit me up. I miss you. Who's your celebrity fashion idol? I honestly have so many celebrity fashion idols. Like, it's ridiculous. I can't, like, name them all. But one person I've been really into for fashion is Bella Hadid. Recently, she's been on the rise. Honestly, I did not know she existed before. I thought Gigi Hadid was, like, the only like, Hadid or whatever. But, I don't know. I always see Bella Hadid's outfits on Twitter, and it's so cute. And her body's so nice. And, like, I love how she styles her outfits. And I, like, I'm in love with her style. Like, her style is so nice. Okay, what's your favorite place you traveled and where is your dream place to travel? Um, I already been to my dream place to travel and it was Paris and I don't know, I loved Paris so much. I went like a year ago. I went in the March of 2016 and um, I loved it. Like honestly, it was one of the best trips of my life. It was the best trip of my life. It was so fun. I got to see so many things. I went with my sister and mom. I got to like see the city and then I used the metro so I really got to see the city. I didn't really use the taxi so I had to go under the city and go up and walk around a lot so that was really nice. Who's your most watched YouTuber? Honestly, I watch so many YouTubers. Some of my favorite YouTubers that I've been watching recently is Miss Remy Ashton. Mel Joy. And my last one is a storytime YouTuber. I think her name is Paris. I forgot the name of her channel. I love her videos and they're so interesting to watch. And there's a bunch more that I love watching but I can't name them all. Fun fact, Mel was one of my first YouTube friends. I was in a collab channel with her and it was really fun. But now she's so big and like I feel like she doesn't even know who I am anymore. I don't know. I like love her videos. I always loved her videos. Her channel is just like, her videos are just so interesting to watch and she recently just hit a million subscribers which is amazing. I'm so happy happy for her like everyone's growing I love seeing like friends old friends channels grow and stuff and I'm really proud of her and everything she accomplished so shout out to Mel favorite place to get milk tea um right now I've been really obsessed with pico wait funny I'm drinking pico right now it's so good I love pico so much their drinks are so good um they only have one so you have to be from like the bay area to drink it but if you guys are ever in like san jose stop by pico it's really good and i love it my last question that i'm gonna answer is what do you think should totally stay in 2016 i don't know i feel like a lot of trends happened this in 2016 and i feel like they should go away like one thing that i find really annoying is well, I don't really find it super annoying, but one thing that I don't really find funny anymore or fun to watch anymore is the mannequin challenge. I feel like that was overused and people did it too much. It was boring. And then Dan Daniel, like what the hell? Like that was like so long ago. Why do people still say that? And why the heck is this Daniel guy getting famous for having white shoes? One thing I see on Twitter, people using like non-makeup products to use as makeup. Like I once I saw someone use like mayonnaise as foundation. Like what the heck are you doing? It's mayonnaise. Like what? So yeah, that's all the questions I have to answer. I hope you liked this video. Remember to thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below any other questions you guys have for me. And also comment down below any like all the video suggestions you guys have for me. Because it's 2017, New Year, new me. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I really want to try to like film a lot more videos for you guys in 2017. So comment down below anything you guys want and I'll, I'll film it and I'll try and I'll do whatever. So yeah, I love you guys. Bye. Oh,